Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Napoleon historical battle feud today. The French Empire is under siege, it's crumbling and France is now under threat. But Napoleon still has his guard and he still has his army. As we are here at the Battle of Montmirail in 1814 as the French campaign is getting underway. And as you can see, the French Empire is now under siege from multiple allied nations. Austria, Prussia and Russia attacking from the east and from the south you have Britain and its Iberian allies but uh, yes in today's battle we have Russia and Prussia fighting at Montmorel in this historical battle historically was a French victory uh, one of the mo multiple Fren uh, French victories that were in the French campaign as Napoleon tried to hold off the oncoming hordes of allied troops with his small French army and yes he was leading this one himself was Napoleon and uh, yeah, both sides kind of lost about similar sort of numbers. Um, most of the whole battle was kind of fought over Montmirail over here. So that is the objective of today's uh, battle uh, for you guys to, like, so you guys are aware. I just saw, I'm pretty sure I saw Napoleon. Like, I don't know if I was just wave, like, maybe it was just like, I don't know, waving over. And I thought I saw like the Napoleon marker. There he is, yeah. Napoleon's all the way back here, chilling. Um, but yes. Napoleon here with the, his army is defending Montmorel all the way back here. That is today's objective for you, so you know what uh, the Allies are going for, what the French are defending. So we have two French armies here, looking like they're taking on two Russian armies. And then up there we have another further two French armies, one of which is the Guard. Uh, the Guard is still very much intact and is a force to be reckoned with in today's battle. We have plenty of nasty units. We have Fusilier Chasseurs, Chasseurs, uh, like the old guard there. And you've got Grenadiers, the old, like Grenadiers, the old guard. And then you've got plenty of middle guard stuff as well. We've got Vistula Legion. There's Poles still loyal to the French cause, but yes, yeah, still all going off. And it seems as though there has been a little bit of a combat over here. Got some uh, like Russian Cossacks here, and they're about to get charged by some uh, Dragoons here. And they're going to be dealt with swiftly by the French. And the first blood will go to France by the looks of it. And there you go. Hopefully France will be continuing with that. If, if we want to see history recreated, let me know. Do you want to see history recreated or do you want to see the Allies uh, change history and win today? I am, I'm not so sure. I always do like to see the French do well, but I also do like to see history change. It does make uh, the videos much more exciting. Uh, that is for sure. But yes, if you're enjoying seeing historical battles and would like to see some more historical battles, whether that's Napoleon or whether it's 1212 or Rome 2 or whatever, feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and a comment show support. And uh, yeah, if you want to get involved as well in some Napoleonic action and you're struggling to find NTW3 games, feel free to join the Discord. The link is down below in the description of this video. We've got some uh, four pounders being rolled up and they're getting ready. And they've got a perfect view right now of those Russian lines all the way over there. Uh, those Russian lines very much open to the elements and to the artillery fire of the French. The, uh, it has just disappeared, but there is Russian artillery on the opposite hill over here, and that equally has a pretty good angle. It's about here. That has a pretty good angle of the French lines on top of that hill, um, but the Russians do have a pretty nasty hill that they are going to have to ascend today. And the French are very much dug in. But if they can break through, they can get straight to Mont uh, Morel itself. So uh, there's always that. But yeah, I mean, the French got some really good positions. I mean, they could set this artillery up on one of these hills back here and they can still fire over their own troops, get really good shots. They got more artillery still being wheeled up. Lots of four pounds being wheeled up. So that is always good to see. Um, but it seems like there's been another little bit of combat over here. Looks like we've seen a. Uh, looks like. What is that that's just routed? I don't know. Oh, that's, is that the Russian Cossacks? The two different Cossack units that broke? I think so. Yes, yeah, so it seems like there's been two little skirmishes already. But yeah, it looks like the guard is already like looking at look like this is already pushing, uh, sort of, on the flank of the uh, of the allies. You can see here they're really pushing hard on this sort of left flank of the allies. I don't know exactly know where their are their armies are, but you imagine this is their left flank. And they're pushing hard. This is the um, the guard and they know the French army. Uh, here they are all being represented by Russian center because there is no 1814 campaign. Um, for the French uh, in NTW3 yet. So hopefully that will be added because I think it's quite a key period that they need to add. They've got a lot of maps for it, they don't have any uh, like factions. So certainly 1813 or an 1814, like a late war French army is needed. Just so then you can have like, just like hordes of uh, of like uh, Marie, um, I've forgotten what her name is now. 
Oh, I forgot, like the conscripts. I forgot what the names are now that they give to them. Which is really irritating. Um, but we've got a. Uh, oh, Mary Louise's, I'm pretty sure that's what they call them, isn't it? Mary Louise's? Something like that. Um, yeah, we've got Grenadier, Grenadiers here lining up. These guys don't look like they're conscripts, that's true. They look like hardened veterans. And they're also one of my favourite looking units. The Grenadiers. The line. They look very, very nice. They will do very well against the Ruskies, I am sure. It looks like we've got some uh, French infantry really pushing out. Really pushing on these. Uh, looks like this is like a Hussar you now here that the Russians have. Um, there's a big risk. But I guess they can they can form squares. So maybe they're just trying to bait in the uh, cavalry. Seeing whether they're going to come in and form square and then get a few volleys off them. It's not a bad idea. Look at this. So many lines of Russians. Like, if you miss with one artery like round, it's going to... If it misses this one, it goes into the next like, line for sure. Yeah, the Russians right now under heavy fire. They're actually making a, a retreat. They don't really like this position that the French are holding. And fair enough, I would be trying to uh, shift right and go around here, maybe across this river, and try and hit this French left, just to try and avoid this, um, this hill. This hill looks like a suicidal assault. The French holding it very strong. Maybe like leave a little bit of a, a force here, just to soak up the fire, and also just to uh, keep the French in position. But I'd be pushing, I'd be pushing uh, like onto the French left right now to uh, try and get them around. But yeah, not much in the way of uh, combat going on just yet, but that's fine. I'm sure it'll all get heated very, very soon. But there is, we will just uh, keep an eye on this. There is a, uh, look at this, look at this. We've got Napoleon actually about to be assassinated here by some Russian Cossacks. And they were not paying attention and the Emperor's life is under threat. And here we go, Napoleon is about to be assassinated. There he is. Can, it, can old Boney survive? No, he cannot. Napoleon has been killed. Well, that would end the war very quickly. The battle would be over. The French would lose, mor uh, like, lose morale. They would see their emperor dead. All hope would be lost. The guard would retreat. And the empire would cease to be uh, a thing. Just like that, those Cossacks would become war heroes in uh, reality. But um, yes, Napoleon clearly needed to get being guarded by by his uh, by his guard. It would seem. But yes, as you can see, we have some hussars that are a little bit late to the party to defend their emperor. Well, really, the uh, the battle should be over now. But uh, it continues. We, this is total war. We do not end when the emperor dies. We end when no one is left standing on the battlefield. But yes, as you can see over here, the guard already set up. They are... Ooh, they've been dealing with a few cavalry charges. Got some grenadiers here. Scaring off some more Cossacks. These Cossacks with the Russians seem to be, like, causing all sorts of problems. And the Prussians are now arriving with their hordes of Landwehr. And this is a very, very uh, efficient tactic. This The horde of Landwehr is a very, very useful tactic. And you can see here, look at this. It uh, looks like some, like, Hussars. And there's some Lancers coming in. Lance coming and they actually have got into these uh, Visual Legion and they are going for the guns but they uh, they fail to get them. These eight pounders here have just about survived and uh, yeah the guard has just managed to uh, scare off this cavalry. We have Mortier here who's uh, in charge of the guard today. Maybe it should be Napoleon. He may have survived but uh, yeah over on the far side again there seems like there's more uh, more carry charges going on again. The Russians causing all sorts of havoc in the back lines, and they have been routed. These look like some. Uh, these actually look like Ullans. These actually don't look like uh, just Cossacks. They actually look like some decent cav, and they've uh, they've got in behind. So I don't think the French are aware how much cav is in behind them because it seems like there's more than uh, than just one or two Cossacks. It seems like there might be quite a bit. But, yeah, these line infantry forming square. They're getting shelled as well now as well by uh, by Russian artillery. Yeah, there's still this Cossack unit here causing all sorts of problems. So, yeah, still a little bit going on. And you can see over here we also have some uh, Trilliers being routed. I mean, that's no real loss for the French. But uh, that is their first routed unit, I believe. But uh, a big Dragoon unit here. 89 men being wheeled up. Some gendarmes of the Elite Immortals. This is like a guard unit, I'm pretty sure. They should do okay. I mean, 33 men in a unit. I'm presuming they're going to do pretty well. And did that, I think that Ullen unit back there ra uh, rallied, so there's now two units in the back lines. And the French are going in for round two. Oh, maybe not, the Hussars changed their mind. 
Yeah, there is. <laughs> this could, could be a lot of uh, Russian cab back here, for all we know. And another one seems to have just appeared on this side. Oh my gosh, there is so much Russian cab back here. The Cossacks causing all sorts of problems. The Cossacks did cause a lot of problems in the French campaign, that is for sure. They were uh, a major threat for the French peasantry. They feared those uh, Cossacks with their lives. I don't blame them, they are fierce. And they just want revenge after the... Uh, the French did the same to them in their own homeland. And we have some guards here of the Prussians that have arrived. These guys looking pretty mighty fine. Probably one of the best looking units that the Prussians have available to them. Nothing like their uh, their farmers like we have over here. The land there oh, just disappeared. They'd rather not show themselves. But yeah, it seems like neither side really... Really wanting to make that first move. France, I can imagine, now is feeling a little bit worried about course Napoleon. But it seems like Russia is quite happy just to shell buildings to pieces. But, I mean, Russia, Russia's against... Um, the Allies, sorry, are against the clock. They have, like, the time uh, to, uh, to take um, Montmorel Mont uh, in the back. They, they have to take that. I mean, I guess, in theory, could they just, like, get like, a cavalry unit, dismount it? And take it, but here we go. Cavalry battling in the back lines here. Got these uh, hussars going in. They are chasing down these Cossacks. And they finally rally them. So they're getting some revenge for their emperor. But it looks like uh, they may be now about to deal with the uh, the Ullans. Whether they'll be able to deal with take on two units, I don't know. These Ullans have routed once. Oh, it looks like the, uh, the French will win that one as well. There you go. Yeah, the Russians being routed. And even if they weren't to win those... Uh, Dragoons back there would have probably come and mop them up. But yeah, they look like they've dealt with all the problems down the back lines. The Hussars getting out with only three losses. Very good. They killed a good a whole bunch of those uh, cavalry. So yeah, they've routed them properly. And now the Russians have just a frontal assault, really. I don't think they have any other sneaky cav units just yet. But it does look like there is a proper line battle going on over here. Prussia has engaged with the French. And we have a line battle now taking place here. Here we go. This is uh, Grenadiers, the line... Various other things to be involved here. But here we go. This is the first line battle of the day. Reload. I would say fight for your emperor. But he's dead. He's gone. Already. I guess fight for the... Uh, fight for your... Your families or something like that. I guess that's a... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Zooming in there. Just the French would you prefer to be uh, glitching out, it would seem. Yeah, why do like guard like things over here? I presume these are guards. I think they are. I think in the, in the, t the few times I've played Prussia, these are the guard units. They look pretty damn good. Good looking. And the land there as well. I mean, you can afford the land there. And they aren't the most accurate, but there's a lot of them. So eventually you'll hit some. And to be fair, the French are taking casualties. There are a few. Some areas. What is that starting to mount up? Oh my god, just like from that like, angle, they just do not, do not like stay there. But the French have actually been battling on over here with their uh, dragoons. They have routed, I'm not quite sure what they routed here. It looks like uh, just a landwehr sort of like lancer unit, like all in la uh, landwehr unit there. That's very, very good. Getting that extra bit of cavalry domination. You see the guards over here shifting left. I imagine because there's no more cavalry to defend here, so they're now just defend this gun. Uh, it's like a relatively large gun as well, maybe like a. 12 pounder maybe? Maybe a 6 pounder? Not a clue. But a lot more land there now arriving. And they've got a lot of uh, infantry here to engage. I mean, there's also the guards over here somewhere. So they do need to be wary with that. The uh, the Russians still yet to push forward. Just thought I'd up date you on that. Prussia's uh, fighting alone at the moment, it would seem. Russia is uh, not interested in pushing at all. It looks like we've got maybe some musketeer units here. I mean, actually, no, these are musketeer. They're just more land there. But some of them have got actual shakos. But yes, this is the final video of 2022. And I hope you guys have... Uh, 2022. 2021, before we go into 2022. So I hope you guys have had a great 2021. Um, thank you for all the support that we've had over the year. Being a massive, massive support. The channel's grown... Well, a 
fair amount to be fair. We've grown like certainly double in size, and I'm sure in the next year we could double again if we uh, with some uh, hard work and some great support. See here, looks like the, uh, the uh, oh, we have cavalry in the background. I was just gonna say the land bearer oh, holding on very easily, but uh, yeah, I mean, looks like more of the like sneaky little lancer, like Ullens of a uh, like land bearer Ullens have got in here, and they have actually managed to route this gun. So it's an eight pounder that's already gone. There's that, it's always uh, a little good, a little, nice little win there. And here we go, big push now. The French are retaliating, sending forward their dragoons going in. They're going to take out the, uh, the Prussian guns. And, I mean, could they now push on for the land there? I mean, there are Russian infantry here. They have uncovered some Russians. Now they can push on. They go for ca this cavalry, land there. All sorts of they're trying to take out. And in they go. Big push now. Are routing these land there. I imagine they will route them. The guard pushes forward as well. Fuse their chasseurs. Fuse their grenadiers. All going. Uh, this ca I mean, any of this cavalry could break. It looks like... Uh, Looks like the French are winning decisively, but they're also getting shot in the flank right now by Lambert. And there you go, the Lambert breaks and the cavalry breaks, or, uh, the dragoons break. And now maybe the uh, Prussians can counter charge into the guard, who knows? Which are they going to? They're going to counter charge, in they go. I don't know if they'll break, they may do, they are pretty tired. And the Russians are going to charge in. Going in against the old guard themselves. And then we've got in Russian cab coming in. This looks like a Russian goon. Going in. Oh boy, the guard's in trouble. The guard is in trouble. The uh, the land the Prussians did get routed, but the Russians here, they made it have some great success. I mean, how is this guard not broken? I mean it is the guard in fairness, but it's being surrounded by cab and infantry. Dutch like uh, grenadiers here held on. Looks like the yep yeah, they retreated. The guard broke the cavalry. Insane. Just like that, the guard the left flank holds of the French guard. Very very good. Let's go see if Russia is actually engaged over here. Looks like there has been a little bit of engagement, but not too much. Uh, looks like we've got some cavalry going in over here. The French actually getting routed. Those hussars getting routed. Dragoons going in now against uh, Russian dragoons. There's a little bit of an engagement. Looks like we're about to see fresh Russian dragoons come down the hill. An absolute chaos in here. Easy to tell who the Russian dragoons are. They're all the ones with white horses. And that French cab's been routed as well. And it looks like Russia is slowly getting a sort of a cavalry uh, like domination on this side. They're dominating the cab. We've got some uh, French guards now over here, I think. Either these are part of, I don't know which army they, these are part of. Are they part of the actual, like are they just part of the guard or are they like in a different core? I think they might be in a different core, you know. I don't know, maybe not, maybe not. There is more Russian cab back here, oh my god. I managed to take out another artillery piece. More Russian cab causing havoc. I think they're gonna get pinned down now. I think that might be part of the guard, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, I think it, might. Well, they they are guard units, but I don't know if they're part of the actual guard army that's over here. That's what I mean. They may be. Mortier here, being surrounded by his guardsmen. So they battle on Prussia is being forced back, and France is on the advance. They've crossed the river. You can see where the uh, battle was taking place, and all the bodies are. We've got a uh, gun piece here that's just about alive. One eight pounder. Plenty of cav still here. And again, another Russian little like cav unit here. Just lingering in the back lines. What are they gonna go for? I mean they could go for generals perhaps. I'm not sure. You know what? I think these are all look, these are just more French fresh uh French units coming up. There are like other guards units over here. And I I have a feeling that those bolt gears that we saw on the other side are part of that other army. So if that's the case, that's a lot of guard units. Even not, and they're not even part of the actual guard army. 
A land there here. Still holding that damn line. There's so many of them still to be killed off. I can hear cavalry going into the back line. We're going to see Russian cavalry charge. I mean, I imagine most of this infantry here can form square. Yep, here it goes, all forming square. Now would be the time of the Prussians to counter charge. And yeah, the Russian player wasn't paying attention. And his cavalry's going to charge squares. And there you go, they got broken pretty damn quickly. And since like the same response over here, since like the Russian cavalry is going to get routed as they charge Grenadier squares. Battling in the forest here as well, Grenadiers kicking out the Russians. The Russians are going to need to send in more than that. And they're sending in more infantry into the uh, into the guards. They feel like they're going to beat them in, in melee. I don't know, they might. I mean, the the, uh, the Dutch Grenadiers did break. They might get these Fusilier Chasseurs as well. They have. And the Russians are pushing on into this forest. Vistula Legion here as well fighting on. They might get them. But there are other chasseurs and stuff like that uh, still battling on as well. I mean, it's a bit of a mess over on this flank here. I mean, it just seems like everyone's just breaking. Everyone's just kind of trying to ch make it, get a charge off. They might be able to get this Vistula Legion unit. I don't know. They might be able to get this Vistula Legion unit. The Russians are like, throwing everything in to try and break these guards. And I feel like he's not not getting his money's worth. An enemy general's been killed. Where? A Dragoon? This like, little cab unit back here was a general? And they threw it in the back lines? That's a bold move by Russia there. And that's probably going to cost him his army. Because his morale will be shattered. And they've broken that Vistula Legion. Excellent. Will they now get the Grenadiers? I don't think so. But these guys are just going to be so their morale has gone down massively on that charge there. And then it just, just goes straight back up. It's like they're just like, yep, yeah, we do we don't like getting charged initially, but that is perfectly fine. These are like the elite guards. These are the first the first regiment of guards. I think they will break them. They just charge in the back with their cavalry as well. That's not gonna work. They should have rear charged the guards instead of uh, rear charging their own infantry. But still. The guard is seeing a lot of action right now. We'll go back over to the other side, go and see how the Russians are doing over here. Russia seems like he's pushing on the uh, on the French here, uh, making some headway, but also taking a lot of casualties himself. The French pushing hard on its left flank. I was saying this is the flank that the the uh, the Russians should be pushing hard on, and it's in fact the French are doing that. And they bring up their Voltigeurs here, that are uh, leading the way by the looks of it. They got like like, like their elite guard units on this side pushing as well. So, like, just, the majority of the French army is made up of like guard units. Well not the majority, but a good portion. Looks like a lot of Russian cab though moving this way, shifting to uh, maybe deal with the that flank that's being formed up over there by the French. But we'll continue to see how what goes on over here because it seems like this side of the battle is sort of coming Closer to an end as Russia gets routed and forced back. Look at the bodies in this uh, woodland here. It's just, just a messy battle. A messy battle. The French fight on. They're fight battling these Landwehr in the in their lines. I mean, if the guard beats Russia, they can just start to swing around on the right flank of the Landwehr. And I mean, the Landwehr are quite happy to like, slog it out as long as they aren't threatened on their flank. But as soon as you can see the, fr the flank is threatened, it goes to orange morale. Never a good sign. Never a good sign. But you can see on this side, really. I mean, the guards are protecting this flank for the, uh, for the Prussians. But they're getting shelled now. Like, well, if we can't take them out the easy way, we'll take them out the hard way. We'll shell them. Shell them till they, sh till they die. But yeah, you can see here, look at this. Flank the uh, land there. As soon as they get flanked slightly by the guard, they just start to shell them. Right. They're not going to last much longer. The Russians need to try and regather a force and push on them. And you can see they are doing just that here. There are fresh Russian units coming in this direction. 
It seems like both sides are outflanking each other at different points. You've got, like, Dragoons here. They're going to just smash into the side of this Dragoon unit here. I mean, what we've got here, Gendarmes Elite. These guys are pretty nasty. I mean, I don't know if they'll be able to beat them. Dragoons, they are pretty bad. Elite, but actually, well, I think they would have done just fine. French Dragoons now coming in, though, to challenge the Russian ones. And whoever wins this, I mean, holds the, the flank here, really. This is a ma really important battle, actually. Because there's no more French Cav here. And if they win, the Russians can get in behind. Support their fights here against... This looks like the Guard as well. This actually, I actually think it is part of the Guard army. I think they have shifted this across. Trillia is here. Yeah, they've got a lot of Guard units here. I don't know exactly where all the Guard is, but it seems to be everywhere right now. It seems to be supporting so many positions. And look at this massive push by the uh, by the French Cav and the French... Um, sorry, Russian Cav and Russian Infantry. Going in, pushing into against the Grenadiers, the line. And we've got a big melee battle going on in the middle here. And another one over here. And the French are getting routed. This flank is just being shattered. This is a mix of like Voltigares and like all sorts of really na of nasty infantry. And look at that. It's being pushed back. And France is in disarray on this flank. And this is huge for the Allies. They're actually having really good, like, having a lot of joy out on this flank here. France choosing not to form a square but to go to combat and that is allowing the French, uh, the Russian Cav here to have a lot of joy. Though they have just routed. I think they may have bitten off more they can shoot. They should return. They are pretty healthy. They have routed anyway. All the French units here. And now they can push hard in Russia. Russia can push hard. And the same on this side. It seems like they're making some headway. Routing units here. In the center. And I mean they're all taking this town here. I don't know what town this is. Uh, I can't even tell because there's so many units over the name. But Russia's taking this town. And they should be able to then uh, force the French back towards Mont Moral. By the looks of it. And there we go. More Russian infantry coming in. They've been routed, though. It needs to seem... seems like they need to do the combo of uh, Russian infantry and Russian dragoons. It seems to be a very efficient uh, way of routing them. Dragoons also don't seem like they're returning anytime soon. More cavalry going in. Chasing down this infantry before it can form square. Actually, it can't form square. That's why. They can break the center. There's always a chance. They need to bring up infantry to support the cab. But yeah, in goes the Russian cab. Uh, the French cab, sorry, to the Russian cab. So much cab. I'm getting confused who's on whose side. It's I think it's because both Russian and French wear green uh, jackets and their boots. I don't know why. Maybe that's what the boots is made. More, even more Russian boots come in. Jeez. It's an absolute mess here in the centre. And the Russians look like they're going to throw in infantry as well. They really want to try and catch this French centre. I mean, in fairness, look at this. The French are on the run. I mean, this is also the flank you got to remember that Napoleon died on. So I imagine, like, they are low on morale because they have no general. Look at that. They are causing all sorts of problems. Are they the ones firing howitzers? Yeah, the Russians have howitzers. So they are causing all sorts of problems. That also, I think, is massive damage to morale. Look at this. The French in disarray. I mean, you should try and route as many of these units with your cavalry, maybe. Some of them, these guys can form square still. Like what this one can. But yeah, you want to try and, like, fully route some of these uh, infantry units, I think. Get them off the battlefield. And there you go. Another big push over on this side. Russia seems like he's getting... Uh, pushed back on this flank, though, by the French. Yeah, it seems like the French force here may need to shift back towards Montmorel to try and uh, to check the Russian advance there, because uh, they're in trouble for those Frenchies are down there. Over on this side, Russia has sort of, like, so almost surrounded the guard. They got him behind them. They are getting routed. Running for your lives again, you cowards. Stop doing it. Fight the guard. It's only like the most elite units in the uh, elite fighting force in Europe. Don't worry about it. Chasseurs here. Again, getting a nice flank. This is the problem with the land there. They've got this, uh, this issue. It's gonna get flank as soon as they get flanked, morale just takes tanking. Got a uh, carry unit back here just chilling. Just facing off the two Dragoon units. And this is the besides the fate of the cavalry battle on this side. I mean, I think it's more important for Prussia to win this fight. 
If France uh, loses it, I don't think it's really the end of the world because already the French are kind of making flanking maneuvers on the Prussians. But yeah, look at this. Two more land values break and the guard can just move down onto the next one. And Prussia's in a real sticky position here. They need to somehow get themselves out of this, uh, this mess. And it looks like the answer is going to be an all-out assault maybe on the center. I can hear carry moving. Yep, the French uh, went for a charge on these, uh, these guards here. That's not worked out for them. And now it looks like Prussia is going to counter charge. He's going to go for the uh, the more healthy unit here. And he's actually stopped at the last minute. Oh, that could be costly. That could be really costly. Yeah, that, that's actually... Am I losing this unit? Maybe not. He has got out of there very, very luckily. Looks like we're going to see Lambert now push forward, maybe. They're getting gunned down by the dozen right now by the uh, Grenadiers line in the center of this formation. It's a really good place to have these uh, the Grenadiers as well because if they get charged, they, I mean, then you'd reckon these guys can hold the line for a little while. Even if there's only 40 of them. Yep, pressure's losing uh, plenty of land there now. I mean, now that they've come out their really long, thick formation, the flanks are being shown, and these ill trained troops. And Morales being sapped pretty quickly. Just a big blob here of land bear. It's just you can't miss if you're a Frenchman here. You just pick and just firing into, firing into the middle of this mass. Oh my gosh! Just go into combat, land bear. Just do it. You're gonna break instantly, but just go in. It's the most unenthusiastic charge I've ever seen. Stab them, boys! Stab these farmers, these German farmers, that dare face the mighty French army. There you go, breaking them. No surprise there. The guard over here cleaning up what's left of the, uh, the Prussians. It seems like the Prussian player is just lost for ideas of what to do with his cavalry. And right now, all it's achieving is being killed. I mean, in fairness, charging here. There's just lines of guardsmen that can just form square. I mean, even the uh, the infantry here, the normal infantry can form square. So yeah, not looking great. Some of the guard has been shifted over here to try and deal with the uh, the Russians. Actually, quite a lot of the guards over here dealing with the Russians. Uh, left here. They're holding on. Listen, they're going to go for a charge. Trying to rally these grenadiers. They just really want to rally these grenadiers. They don't blame them. Volley there at the last minute, that'll help route the Russians. That's the risk when you go into bayonet. You may break uh, the unit, but you may also just get broken yourself, especially if there's like a volley like that at the last minute into your troops. That can just change a bayonet battle. Seems like France has managed, well, these are all guards unit here. here. So, no, not all of them, but there are the majority of them are guards units. They've been shifted over, I think, to try and save what is going on over here because Russia is pushing on for Montreal. They've got infantry all the way up here, so I mean they're not far away and I don't think there's actually a... well there isn't. We can see the French forces. There is nothing uh, in the way of uh, like stopping the Russians from just going straight to Montreal because I think that's all they got to do. Just capture it. Get into the building in there and they win. So, I mean, the rest of their army could just pose as a distraction. Our men are running, they've, been, uh, they've been in a great position right now to uh, to win. Um, so it looks like we've got infantry over here being broken. Grenadiers finally got broken. As the guard battles in around the guns here. They have routed every single Russian unit here, bar this one. But I'm sure that one will be joining them shortly. But yeah, the, there you go. Pressure is gone. Pressure is off the map. And this French army is relatively healthy. It is also the, uh, part of the guard as well as here. So, he's kind of like one and a bit armies. But I don't think that like the main French army with the basic like, line infantry units really lost any men. Well, they lost a lot of men, but they just didn't lose any like units is what I mean. A lot of their units are beaten up. Um, but yeah, they can now sort of move over here and start to put pressure on the already pressured Russians. Who look like... I did wonder if they were setting up guns, but these look like retreating ones. France, I think, is trying to check the Russians, but I'm not entirely sure. The 
French? How the heck are the French back here? Are these like routed units have returned? I think they must be. Because now they're uh, they're in the back lines attacking the Russian guns. Hey, what the heck? We got some uh, dragoons over here. They may be able to stop them, but both these units. Could, well, actually, one of them can form square. The other cannot. Here we go, Russia is starting to uh, put some volleys into these Frenchies. Round after round, fired into these in the French mass. Slow them down, boys. Slow them down. Fight for your Tsar. There's quite a lot of damage, like, a lot of morale being taken over here. Damage morale. Again, guard form square and protects the flank of the French. And that'll stop any uh, dragoons from causing any problems. I mean, the answer would be just to charge with a Russian infantry unit. But look at this. The left flank for France is already uh, buckling. There you go. The Russians are going to round that unit. And yeah, just like that, that French resistance here has already been broken. And it looks like... Uh, I like that. There's one little Russian gun running for its life like quickly. Let's get back to our own lines. Run! Run! The guard is coming! And oh boy they are. The guard and all its uh, all its resources are being thrown in the direction now of the uh, the Russian lines. The Russians throwing in everything they have against other guards you can see. Breaking the trilliers. Also breaking all like the voltigeurs here. Doing a very good job. Doing exceptionally well. And now, I mean, now they can just bring up this, uh, these infantry, fire into the, fire into this Union Square, and then just hope that it's, uh, well, I mean, it doesn't, they don't need to worry about anything. The cavalry can just stand, stand there and just threaten. This is the strategy you have to go with, especially like, as they do like this. They're going to charge it. Okay, fair enough. I mean, you can, probably, yeah. I just put a volley into them. I think that would be enough. The French probably prefer a battle like this. In melee. Well, maybe not. They're going to run. Now the cavalry can chase them down if they wanted to. Make sure they're run running for good. But yeah, that seems like uh, most of the... Most of the battle so far. I feel like we're going to have a, uh, a little bit of a dip in action. There is still a little bit going on over here. The French still engaging with the Russian units around this little village. What are the units are these? These are Italian units. I would have thought by now the Italians would all be in Italy defending their homeland. But hey oh, who knows. I don't even... Mar Marche? Mar Okay, I think there's villages that they're fighting over. Oh god. Did not mean to do that. Can we go back, please? Thank oh god damn it. Just stay here, please. Russian cavalry going in. Going in to take out uh, some Volta Gears. They can't form square, but the uh, the 72nd line can. And they will survive the Russian wrath. That is their cavalry. Looks like the French though are gonna go in and they're gonna try and storm this building. I don't know what's in here for the Russians. Maybe, maybe guard units. They look like they might be. Looking at their uh, the, like the hats and like the, yeah, they are definitely a guard unit, not a Russian unit there. But that's a perfect unit to set, throw in as the Russians throw them in. Yeah, this is a hundred percent a guard unit here. So perfect unit for the Russians to throw in and hold this building down. Hopefully they can keep it alive because they're going to need to send that unit onto Montreal to hold the building there when they, if they eventually get there. Seems like the French are sort of slowing them down, but there is still like a sneaky Russian unit over here, which I honestly would be put it, putting into action to go in and take Montreal right now. Take it and claim victory. You've killed the Emperor, and then you've also taken the objective. What, what else do you ask for? I mean, you need to do it as well before the uh, horde of French over here arrives. I don't think these Russians have enough to stop that. Russian 
putting more volleys into these Frenchies. And they seem to have taken a building over there. What are they taking? There's a building over, all the way over here that they've taken as well, the Russians. And the French having to go over here and deal with this. Oh, these are actually the Grenadiers, the old guard as well, being sent in. I mean, I couldn't think of a more finer fighting force to send in to deal with this building. They are winning. I like how like you can't fit full units now inside the squares, inside squares, inside buildings. So uh, like half the unit stays outside and gets just stabbed up like this. It's kind of funny. I don't know. I don't know why. We have taken the building. There you go. They've taken the building, and I like I said, I couldn't think of anyone better to take this building than the old guard. There you go. They've done it, and now it looks like the Russians are sort of being penned in around this village here. Seems like the French are making a push, actually, as well. But the Russians are ready to counter as well, and they are going to be able to go in and get these uh, this infantry unit here. This unit can't form square. In go the dragoons. I'm going to help route this unit here, perhaps. And the Italian storm square. No, they can't. That'll be the next one on their list, I imagine. Here we go, Russians are going to counter charge over here, they're going to charge into the squares. Forces you to use the break like this, yep, look at that, morale is taking an absolute tumble. The Italians counter charge, I don't know if it will be enough. And the French are broken. Oh my gosh, the French broke en masse, even including the Italians, they look like they were winning. Same over here as well. It seems that these Trilliers, they have been routed once, and they're going to route again. As they fight around, as they fight around the uh, the graveyards, this graveyard will be getting uh, ever so bigger in this battle. And a general has been killed. I don't know whose general just got killed. Is this line infantry unit here? I think it might be. I think it might be that Italian unit there. It's gotta be a line infantry unit. There's no other cav around here, so that's a that's a win there again against the French, killing uh, another general off. There is another uh, French unit on the way. Again, like I said, I just I'd be just sneaking this unit up, getting it to Montreal. Yeah, here we go. It looks like the uh, the French are on the way. We're gonna fast forward because. Uh, we're kind of just waiting on the two sides to collide now. I mean, we've got so much artillery being set up here as well by the Russians. They've got one uh, one load of artillery here, and there's another one behind it, which I presume is the, uh, the howitzer, but uh, I'm not entirely sure. There's a uh, a Russian unit all the way down there as well. That's getting a bit isolated. That may need to think about uh, turning around. This is a cavalry unit. One might want to turn this unit around, boys. Get back to your own lines. Stay safe. The guard is on the way. I mean, he's on the guard, but they can't be far behind. Yeah, I mean, looking at the uh, the strategic map, the blue is the Russians, the red is the French. I know, very confusing. Should really be the other way around. Looking off their uh, their colours, Russia's a bit more associated with red than the French are. Um, but yeah, uh, it, it's a very small f Russian force left. They've done a very good job. They've taken out... Um, I mean, they've taken out two French armies, really, over on this side. But uh, at what cost? And the answer is, too many men. Too many men. The guard and the other army managed to take out their two, uh, like, two allied armies they were facing. And they managed to do it with uh, much less losses. Possibly has something to do with having the guard in their army. But you know what? We don't talk about that. Are you gonna... Which way is this gun fire? This one, this howitzer is literally just firing. Oh no, that is turning. I was gonna say, I was gonna say they can't be using the gun just from one little French unit. Got a line between over here. 72nd foot. This is uh, gonna harass. The Russians, I imagine. But here we go. French Cav charging up. They're going to try and deal with this uh, artillery piece. You going to be able to load this in time, boys? I don't know. They saved the guns ever so slightly, but I don't know about this one. It's going to be close. The gun crews are... Uh, like the gun carriages are running. Oh, I think the, uh, the gun crew has also been broken. Yeah, that's that's a shame. Oh no, 
The cab got broken. The gun crew's still alive. That's okay. The French got broken, so now the, uh, the gun crew can return. And they can live a happy life back on their, uh, their bastion that they have created. Let's see if we more guardsmen arriving. The shout goes up for Viva the Emperor! Even though he's dead, they're still giving him a, giving him a cheer. I keep thinking that these bushes here are a massive cavalry. I don't know why. But yeah, I mean, Russia is just going to have to hold on here in this small little, uh, small little redoubt he's made. I'm going like, to make a stand instead of going for Montreal. Jeez, big hole being put into this unit here. That might be friendly fire. That's all I can think that can explain that. There's no artillery. Uh, no, yeah, there's no real artillery over here. I don't think that the, uh, the French are using. Yeah, that must be friendly fire. But anyway. As you can see, we've got what, about five units of French over there. They're being joined by a uh, further couple more. On this side as well, another what, six units here. They are dueling with what, two units of Russians. The Russians have got some cab that are flanking around. They may be about to strike. Can these units form square? They can. This is the Russian player, uh, the French player playing attention. He is. And so is the Russian player. And look at the horde of French still to arrive. Guns are now very much vulnerable to uh, musket fire as well. They're just being like, sh um, like shot at constantly. So now the Russians just aren't bothered about defending them. Certainly not after they've been charged by cavalry once. They're just like, yep, screw it, they can die. I like this though, look at this howitzer's in between. In between the uh, infantry, that's really cool. A very cool shot. Here we go. Russian cab, they're going to rush in. As they do. What can they go for? I mean, all these units can form square. That's the real problem here. Are they get, are, they're not going to form square, though. And they may be able to route a couple of these units. Very well done there by Russia. Or by France, I mean, he had time to form a square, and there was no real uh, risk of uh, the Russians infantry charging him. And he's going to lose his sensor, it looks like here. Uh, I think he'll use it, lose this unit as well. He formed a square on his flank again, anticipating the, uh, the charge on the flanks. And instead, it went straight down the middle. But the Russian cab. The longer it goes in melee, the more worried I am it's going to break in some of the infantry. I don't know, I'm kind of rooting for the Russians now just because they're in such a desperate situation. They've managed to route uh, a unit over here, I guess, which is good. Look at a small, small French unit here being routed. But yeah, it looks like, uh, looks like a Russian caveat routes. Like I said, the longer it stayed in combat, the worse it was going to get. Gunners still, the gunners of the house here still trying to fight. I don't know how good a house it really is in close combat like this. Probably not like great. It's not bad throwing the shells. I mean, I guess maybe you can shell the general here. Shoot Mortier. Get him off the battlefield. That'll help with morale. At least these are guards units here. Healthy as well. 93 men alive. I think they're firing canister. Yeah, the firing canister around these Vista Legion. That's always a good way to uh, get units off the battlefield. Use a bit of canister. Still more Russian cavalry to arrive. I mean, the Russians did really well to keep their cavalry alive. This one's not even slowing down. This Russian group is going to go straight on in. Get that form square, though. I mean, they didn't, though. That's the thing. Again, these units can form square. They, I'm pretty sure. 
Yeah, they had the option before the spread. They did not. Routed straight away. Really good charge of all directions. Putting in amongst them. Cause and Havoc. They're going to route this one as well. Yep, they got two. Maybe a third? No. Not to be. Not to be. The Russian cab breaks. And that'll be the end of that. That's running through. I mean, healthy ranks of uh, French infantry here. 138. I mean, these guys couldn't form square at all. They would have been primed for the taking these three. And a lot of this shit for actually out here can't form square. It's going in over here. We've got a Volta Gears being broken here by Russian infantry. That's always good. And looks like we're about to see. Looks like this Legion here pushing for the howitzers. They look like they're going to get pushed back though by Russian infantry. They're getting shot in the back, I think, by their own men. And there you go. They have routed. And they did route a Russian unit as well. Who's the Grenadiers on the way up? The Russians hanging on by a thread right now. I don't think they're going to win because that juggernaut of the French in the back is about to arrive. The Russians are pushing down. They're trying to get get at those uh, Fusilier Grenadiers. They really want to try and take them out. I think they've been off more they can chew, and yet they are going to rout. And that's just uh, left the guns open for the, for the French to push on. The guns are actually broken anyway, so there's not much left to defend over here. Those guardsmen are in a perfect position that they can just get, fire out of any window. They're surrounded by uh, by Frenchies. Just fire at will, man. Fire at will. So many French baying for blood. Oh my god. Has this been a bloody battle? I mean, both sides lost about 2,000 men in this one. Um, 2 to 3,000, I think, the Allies lost. I feel like both sides have lost a bit more than that in today's battle. But yeah, the French are firing up there. Are the Russians routing? I think they might. I think the Russians have just routed. I'm not sure, but... Oh no, they're just fighting down here against the guards. I think that's what it is. They just move, fight down here. And I mean, I feel like this is going to be the end of the battle right now. The French are just mopping up what's left of the uh, the Russians. And we've got like a little uh, general here. He might as well just go in and kill something. Charge a unit. Maybe find one that can't form square. Or charge Mortier. Go and get him. Oh, but he's routed. Yeah, he got gunned down by uh, some poor French. Uh, by some French infantry there. And then we've got some Grenadiers coming in here. They are going to do the last axe. They're going to try and kill these uh, Russians. They're going to route themselves, you know. So the Russians are still in that building as well. They've still not given it up. I think that might be it, though. I think they I'll may have routed. And yet, the building is now unoccupied. There's no one in it. And that is going to be the battle, I think. Unless... No, that is it. I was going to say, unless there's a cheeky unit somewhere near Montreal, which there wasn't. But yeah, this one was sent in by Johnny Le Buffoon, who was playing as the... French guard and he had a very very small army 1300 men so I think there may be another guard units in other armies because I don't think there there was a lot of guard units on the battlefield today but yeah well played to him to Nash to Nomadic Lancer and to Richard Lionheart who are all playing as French armies today I mean they've got some big armies here you don't often see 2000 man French armies but yeah the 2700 it's a huge French army here and uh, yeah I mean I don't know which one, maybe in this one that was fa facing the Prussians because it's lost the least amount of men. But yeah, Nash and Nomadic Lands having a bit more of a rough time, I think, uh, facing the two Russian armies. That, yeah, uh, Nomadic Lands are not even getting a thousand kills. But well done to Stalker, to Angry Peasant, to Jakku, and to Seth, who are all playing as the coalition forces. Put up a really good fight and uh, nearly uh, managed to win it. I don't know why they didn't just push on for Montmorial with uh, like a few Russian units and take it because I think that's all they had to do to win the battle. Uh, they didn't have to necessarily then hold it. I think they just have to take it. If they take it, then the French, uh, the French are lost. So uh, yeah, that, that's a pretty good fight though. Um, really, really close um, at some points, and then it just is down to the guards just mopping up that right flank in the end. But yeah, we got like the Grenadiers here, the old guard getting 238 kills, no surprise there. Voltaire's 184, Chasseurs 176. Yeah, some really good kills there for the guard, uh, no surprise there. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy the Battle of Montmorel. If you did, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're not here, and a comment to show your support. As always, guys, it's very much appreciated. And I will see you guys in 2022 with some more NGW3 action. Bye for now.